Hello friends, in this lesson we shall learn about distance and displacement concept. I love cricket. In cricket, when a batsman hits a ball, he wants to send it as far as possible, possibly for a six. Now look at this picture after the batsman has hit the ball. The ball follows a curvilinear path in the air. It doesn't go straight. Distance is the length of the path travelled by the object, in this case the measure of the curve. Whereas displacement is the measure of the shortest path between the bat and where the ball lands. That is the measure of the green straight line between batsman and where the ball lands. Yes, the batsman is concerned with how far it goes. So the batsman is concerned about the displacement. However, the distance travelled by the ball is more than the displacement. So distance and displacement are not the same thing. Let's take some more examples. Say you want to go to your friend's house. Your house is represented by the blue triangle on this map and your friend's house is the yellow triangle. If we talk about the distance, you need to go more than 6 to 7 kilometers as you are traveling through the road. So distance is the length of the path traveled by the object. Displacement wise, your displacement may be just around 1 kilometer. So displacement is the measure of the straight line between the starting and the ending point. It has nothing to do with which path you followed. Let us take another example. In baseball, the person who hits the ball is called hitter. Similar to batsman in cricket, say the hitter hits the ball hard and it went high and high. Means the ball was travelling a good distance on the curved path. Then it comes down and falls into the hands of a fielder nearby. This means the distance travelled by the ball was more but the displacement was small. The measure of straight line between initial and final position is the displacement. So AB is the displacement. Displacement has both magnitude and direction. So it's a vector quantity. The ball is displaced by x meters from batsman towards this direction of the stadium. So displacement has both magnitude and direction. The physical quantities which doesn't require a direction are scalar quantities. So distance is a scalar quantity. Like when you go in a car, you consider distance the car has traveled because you need to take zigzag route, take many turns. The fuel consumed is also dependent upon the distance traveled, not the displacement. Here you went from point A to B in 50 minutes and the distance covered was 19 kilometers. But the displacement is just 12 km in northwest direction. So always remember distance is the total length of the path that the object took but displacement is the measure of the straight line between initial and final position. Distance is a scalar quantity whereas displacement is a vector quantity. You need to mention in which direction the displacement has happened. So that's all for now. Bye bye.